Hey everybody, Kimmy Flyers got here, reminding you to come to Reading, Pennsylvania, at Santander Arena to support the future of the Philadelphia Flyers, and that future is the Reading Royals, a proud affiliate of the Philadelphia Flyers. So make sure you come down to Reading, Pennsylvania, and check out the Reading Royals. Best of luck to the Philadelphia Phillies and all the great Philadelphia Phillies fans in the World Series. From me, Timmy Flyers guy. Let's go Phillies. John, what do you take from the effort of the game and also just the struggles to score? Well, the effort was there. Yeah. Um, second period was a major struggle for us. I thought the first and third we had some footing. Um, had some chances at the end of the game. Both teams did. Carter gives us a chance, and uh, we just, you know, we didn't score. What was your message to them after that second period? I don't, period? after the second period? No, I, I just told them, it's 0-0, zero, zero. and forget about the first two, because I thought we played a pretty good first one. Second one was a major struggle as far as getting out of our end, but we didn't talk about that. We said, just get ready for the third, and try to really put that as the hockey game. Just worried about winning one period. The second period, is that part of an example of some of the things that you're going to have to go through? Oh, God, yeah. Series. Yeah, we, we, we got some guys that's baptism by fire, and, and uh, against one probably one of the top teams in the league. And, um, you know, we start off the period a couple of turnovers. They gain some momentum on a power play, and we're chasing our tail. Um, it's going to happen. You know, we're, we're going to have to live through it. Carter's going to have to play uh, like he did tonight in certain times of games when we're in that mode. Uh, he's going to have to keep us in there, and then we just got to try to find a way after that. I thought our third period was much better. You mentioned you struggled to get out of the zone in the second period. What were you able to clean up specifically to allow you to have more, a little bit more success? In well, I, I thought we. I thought in the second period, we weren't even looking to make it. We were in such panic mode. It's a long change period. We couldn't get guys off the ice sometimes. They had it on a string and a couple of shifts. And you just end up getting backed off. You, you end up, I, I, you just lose a little bit of your confidence. I thought in the third period, made some plays. Uh, I thought we were more connected in the third period so we could come out together. Um, yeah, so it ramped up on us in the second period. But I'm. I'm not going to criticize the hockey team. I thought they played. I thought they played hard, uh, and th this is going to be a little bit of uh, what we are as we try to get this on the right track and uh, maybe get some guys back eventually along the way. Because we've got some guys that it, it's it's a little rich for. But I look at it; it's a great opportunity for them to play and gain some experience. And uh, I think when we get healthy. Uh, I, we, we become a better team because these guys have gone through some of those experiences. Yesterday you said they can't keep playing with bad starts from a deficit. Did you do anything different before the game, and what was it like watching them like get that experience of playing tied through the whole game? Yeah, I, I, I thought, like I said yesterday, it's easy to play from behind. Cause it, it was one of those games, and I know they had more chances, especially in the second period. Uh, uh, but it was one of those games that you, it, it's a, it's it's. It's just a kind of an up and down hockey game. Uh, we had some chances also, and um, it's great experience some, some, for some guys to play in this building, and uh, the, the way the atmosphere was, and just stay within within themselves. That's what I liked about it is that after a, an abysmal second period, I thought we gathered ourselves, and I thought we played a good third period. Uh, they had a few more chances in the overtime, which to be expected with some of the talent that they have, uh, but hey. I'm not getting me to criticize the hockey club because I, I think some guys are growing and as long as I see effort and care and, and belief in what we're trying to do, I'm leaving the building you know, in a decent mood and uh, that's the way I feel right now. Do you, see your, do you see your team building lots of confidence that your goal is to win? Yeah, I, I think, Danny, you know in this league, you, you work off your goalie. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, it's, it's a terrific start for Carter, and uh, I, I, I think as 
each start he has and each time that he gives us an opportunity, um, I'm hoping that it it, it allows us, uh, the players in front of him, allows them to feel, you know what, we got to give something back to him. And without tying himself up in knots, uh, you know, try to do some of the things we want to do to to have the puck more. Uh, I, it's one thing about our league. We've got great athletes here uh, and great people in our league. They see Carter laying it out there. And, and I, I think it puts them in a spot where well, I'm going to give it for him. And, uh, you know, hopefully it builds a little bit of camaraderie. John, you, you talked before about the um, issue with playing back-to-backs and having that strong game for the second game. Mm -hmm. What is the word uh, to your players, or what are you doing differently to help put them in the right position? For to tomorrow? Yeah. I haven't even started thinking about tomorrow. I really haven't, but it, it, it a, a lot of guys got a, you know, well, a few guys got a lot of ice time. Certainly concerned about that in the back back playing another very good fast hockey team. Uh, I'm probably going to put in a couple of guys. Uh, I think Z will probably play. I think Laz will probably play uh, to get some fresh legs in there. But you know what? We're, uh, as we talk about in back to backs, we just need to be simple. We need to be straight ahead. Uh, we need to find ourselves early in the game about just g gaining the blue line and allowing ourselves to forecheck. Uh, and hopefully, I, I do believe in, in back-to-backs, your second win kicks in quicker. And I think you play freer in those back-to-backs once you get through that part. Tomorrow is the start for us, because they're going to come. And uh, they're, they're, they're looking at chops right now for their start. We just got to get through that start. <laughs>
I'm, I'm Timmy Squire, okay? And this is New York Flyers. Free game report. Tonight the Flyers will be in action as they face off against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Can the Flyers pick up a win tonight? And you feel like Sandstrom gets a lucid first game? Well, we'll find out as the Philadelphia Flyers take on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's go, Flyers!